what a perfect ending to this song and to this track. The best is yet to come, and of course we're talking about another Nations Cup game. And in Call of Duty 4 on Cyber Gamer tonight we'll have Netherlands against Team Sweden, and we all know Team Sweden already lost two games, so they're on their last life. One more loss and they're out of the cup, so they will look to fight back into this against a strong Netherlands lineup, um, which I'll present to you right now. It's Mark Junzu, Negative Juice, and Rixer. And they go heads up against the sweet powerhouse Sam, Keso, Sukramza, Kuro, and Martin. Um, it's not a final match for Team Netherlands, as they only lost one match so far, so if they have it in their hearts to not kick out Sweden, they'll give them a chance here. But of course they want to stay with two lives as long as possible, because there will be tough matches ahead, for sure, until only four teams are remaining to head into the semi-finals. So we will see some good action by both teams, I'm sure about it. Waiting just for two more players to radio. And then we'll start with a knife. We are in a best of three. This means we'll have a knife. Then two maps will be banned, two maps will be picked, and the remaining map will be decider. And the first team to two maps will take the victory. So let's just get right into the knife round. And let's see who will give the apparent advantage of not having to ban the first map and having to decide the order of the second and third map. Let's see Sweden starting strong with two, but Juice getting one back, Kuro in the meantime one, and Suki it's only on to Jinsu. 1v4 gets the first, goes into the clutch point like the 300 did back in the day, but he's running all the way from the clutch point and gets wrecked. So, as the Netherlands lost, they have to ban the first map and went for crossfire. Now the Swedes to react to that. I hope I don't have to remind them. There's some heavy discussion going on apparently. Minus crash, so cross and cra crush and cr a little crush and grass fire already out. So strike back lot and city will be played if it's going to be a three map game. Now it's just about which order. And we will start off a strike. I've seen it quite a lot recently. But I guess it's a good balance map anyway to see some action. Good scope map, heavy SMG favored if you get some pushes and if the stop nades are not working. So it's going to be strike, backlot, and the side of Wobby City Streets. So this is our schedule for today. Just one more information after the game, we will have a little giveaway for one month of CG Premium. So, as soon as this match is over, I'll start this ASAP, so hang around, but be sure to be active in the chat. And just by saying this, let me know your predictions. What do you think? Who will take the first map? Who will win strike? Is it going to be Team Sweden? Is it going to be Team Netherlands? Just give me your insights. If you have any some deep knowledge, do some of these players are sick on these particular maps. We've seen some of some of these players are playing pucks. Maybe we have some active puck players in the chat who can share some insights. I'm sure Rixer can have some impact with this scope on this map. So we'll see if he does so. Or if a Swede will annoy him enough to drop the scope even, we'll see this. So we're waiting just for one more ready up to get the knife running for the side decision. And then we can finally get into action with them pew pew. There we go. Let's 
Let's see if the Swedes can attack us once more. Coming back and forth, 2v2, 2v1, <laughs> negative on his own against two, misses the first, it should have been a kill, but gets him in the end, but Martins with a good revenge frag, so Team Sweden on a roll with the knives. And they decide to go for the attacking side. They want to detect the pace of the game. If you start an attack, you can set the pace of the game really good. You can either camp really long, bait the opponents out, make them frustrated. They have to sit in corners for minutes and minutes, round after round. Or you just push them round after round that they have no chance to react. No chance to set any struts up, not to get any, any positions. Those are the two to-go struts. I know. But let's see how they decide to do it. So let's have a look at the stop knights. I'm always curious about this. There should be a knight coming here. Ideally here as well. So because if you only blow the car you can get into mid shops and maybe to the second red as well. Um, doesn't look like uh, to be a push but the stop knights are coming perfectly. The cross smoke is coming in as well. So let's see what's going on. Jutsu is already in A and stopped Sam who was already in A as well. So good anti-push coming out for him, but as you said, the stop nades made it not to be so fast. Mark in the meantime tags of Martins and Kaf, but Sugi with a headshot on to Jinsu. But as Rick takes out Kuro, it's down to 2v5 already. Kezo with a lovely deagle headshot on to Mark, takes it down to 2v3. No, there's a player around Kaf and hopes for any peak. He's harm. No, he didn't harm. Okay. There's one on statue, one on the Palm bins, I think, magic wall that is. Yeah, we have Rigs on that position. And so Grumps already died, so it's down to Kezo. He knows there's a player behind the barrier, but he misses the shot. And does not seem to be able to peek once more, and he should be dead right away. But Rigs are missing two easy shots, and this is the chance for Kezo to pick him up. But in the end, Rigs takes him with a jumping deagle. So, yeah, Rixa should really not miss those shots anymore. If Team Sweden will warm up, they will take advantage of this as easy as it can be. Let's see how the defensive is going to go for this. Junsu this time not into A directly, but with a mid push. But you can see on the minimap there's nobody near anywhere. There's just two players now that look one square and two heading over to B. So he has no action to find in close range thus far. In the meantime, took out Rixus, so the strong scope already out of the game. But Jinsu's kind of stuck, his position is known, and I think there's a player overlook. Yep, and he just spotted him, so he knows he's stuck in his corner. Jinsu trying to bait out a few shots, flashing. Did this flash connect? It actually did, wow. So he's out of the stuck position, negative making use of the over peaking of the crumbs and takes him out, so. Again, Netherlands showing strong defensive skills coming out, and it's only up to Martins, but at least he's on A, so if Kesa gives him a good backup onto the farms player, but doesn't need it, Martin takes Juice out with a lovely spray control. But Junes who kills Kesa, and it's all on to Martins, a 1v2. He knows where the player is, peeks him, but Junes is in a better position and gets a third kill of the round and makes it a 2 0 right away. So yeah, the Dutchie's coming out strong. Let's see what Kazo can do about this. He has the first front spawn, so he goes for the B pick immediately. Can't see a player crossing. As we've seen earlier, those two rounds, they're not that fast into A. And Jun's already died by a knight, so one SMG gone, but the other one is in mid shops again. It's causing trouble once more, and Kazo's just looking for these peaks, but will not be happy anytime soon. Juice stuck on statue as a player on flowers as we just saw, player on overlook and in cuff. But his teammates are doing all the work. Cuff is down, flowers is under pressure, so he can just stay on statue and peek for overlook. And it's again <laughs> two versus four. Kazo alive, Sukram is alive. 
comes a spray to front wall, only gets attack and gets pushed and luckily because of that attack he only needs a legal bullet and finishes off Mark. So only three more players to find. Let's see, in case I can't find anybody from spawn even. Natsuki just waits for him to have a peek and there's a player right next to him. Let's see, it's Rixa in calf. Let's see who will win this duel if it comes to it. All players are on A. This juice and statue. Oh no, negative is over at B. Okay, so he holds middle and B from this cheeky position. If Kesa would look into that, that surely would end up in a kill and then they could rotate into B. But it's only 14 seconds remaining, so they have to make a go. And the cross smoke is coming out, but there are two players in front of the smoke. So even if Kesa does get a one kill, he can't retrieve the bomb on plan. So Rixa camped to victory and made it three kills for him this round once more. So he's on five to one, and this is looking dominating for rather than the Swedes need to pick up the pace. They're playing way too slow in my opinion. So let's have a look, nades coming out towards A. These nades should be effective, yep. One kill onto Mark, so one SMG out of the game. And now they just need to push in, get the cross mark out, and keep on pushing in. Sam does so with the frag onto June, so he's already in statue. The smoke is not perfect though, they can see them crossing, but the bomb made it onto the side anyway. The two players in flowers and Rix gets a kill on the Korra. So Bomb is going down, now they just need to sit in. Let's Explosive see who's a player on bits. It's smart. He has a huge impact. He can kill a player or fall down, give out the position. But he kills the first, gets some bullets out of the second. Killed him as well. Did not even realize that. Gets killed in the back. <laughs> Shouldn't be raging his teammates. How can he give you in the back if you have three players on the bomb side? But in the end, doesn't matter. And finally, the first good push coming out by the Swedes. Let's see if they recognize this. Hey, this is working. Let's keep on doing this. So, as well, let's have a look. Both SMGs are going fast into A and Mark survived three nades and Jinsu went in at the perfect time as well. So Mark's in a prime position to hold off any push. Let's see what he can do. There are three players in front of Kev. If he pushes too far, he might die, but he's going in a good spot. I'm not sure if a player is watching into car for him because he's not really focusing on it. But I think it's not a position you would look into instantly. And now they spotted him and he gets away, luckily. Kafnek coming out, probably from the Dutchies as well. Mark should die soon with Martins, but Martins kills another player and Mark can take him out easily. Another player to find. Spray duel coming out and Mark losing it in the end. Cares about his first frag of the round. And dies to Juice on the statue and up to the crumbs and knows where Juice is but has two players to find in his back and his front. So there was no way for him and another convincing round. Even though it came down to two players only, there was never danger of losing this round in my opinion. So let's see, I think they need to either speed up their nades or delay it a bit because the first guy is already fast in. Rixa stood too long on the bins, gets taken down, and the SMGs are coming in late again. But the SMG is already through, let's see if Jutsu can take him out, he spots him, but sprays 30 bullets into the statue, and another SMG barely takes it out with the SMG, uh, with the deal, but it's it's only going to be the one kill. So it's on to negative and a 1v4, so lovely push Explosive coming out planted. from the Swedes. Rigs are getting a bit cocky there with a peek from the bins. If you do that, do it for a second and fuck off because the nades will come in for sure. Negative gets one more, but I'm not sure if he can do any more because the Swedes right now are really looking to get this round, so they're backing off. Let him walk into crossfire and he dies to Martin. So yeah, good stuff coming out. Again, a nade connected. Instantly make use of that. Walk into A. Get two SMGs out of calf left and right. And because Jinsu missed the spray, it was easy to get another bomb. Smoke's coming out. Rixa sprays into B link. Yes, Sam, curiously enough, is already crossed into flowers. There's a player waiting in B shops. Let's see if we can find him. It's Jinzo. There's two players to find on this right. 
know he just waits, but here's the spray, so he knows he's not focused, so he peeks out. Should not peek out any further because there's another player waiting for him, but almost gets the spray while jumping, but Sukramsa takes him out, unfortunately. Let's see Rixa again on a magic wall position. Oh, there was already one in, so Juice saved his life. Gets the frag under the scope. Nate's front calf, 2v2. Player from Calf backed off the underlook already and will come into main, but Rex, uh, is he going for the hunt? No, he just picked up the SMG and goes into his campy position in Calf again. Let's see, Currents or Crumbs, I'm not sure whether they want to take this yet. Coral, of course, has to be worried about the Calf push. And Juice just camping and spawn, waiting for any plant or any rotation. Rixer seems to know, he, he could have been flanked by Calf, but he just seems to know they're rotating to be. It has been a long time they s spotted the opponent players. Yeah, it makes sense, but <laughs> wow, Juice just keeps on spraying out the first kill on Coral and kills the Crumbs as well, so perfect position for him to take out and save the round for the Dutchies. Rixer had to do nothing in this, but he was there on the rotate as well, pretty fast. Let's see, Martin. The stop nades are really good. You see him stopping there, but then the nade to the second car must come to get the frag. Like this, they only stop him for like a second. He waits for the nade, they explode, and he pushes in anyway. Um, Jutsu gets a frag onto Sam though, and Martin with a frag onto Mark. So, again, nobody in A early on. This most likely means round over for Sweden. At least it was so far. Let's see if they can convince me otherwise, but Juice with a frag onto. Martin's rear. <laughs> this means the SMGs are already gone, so there will be no aggression anymore. And since it's only Kes on a 1v4, there will be not even be a slow play or anything because he's gonna get pushed any second. And there we go. June's in the right moment as Kes just picked up a gun, kills him easily. 2 to 6. Sweden really needs to pick it up now. Need to get a couple of rounds. Koro and Sam only on 3 and 2 frags. Uh, but everybody in Stack Martin is not really freaking high, so yeah. It's only been 8 rounds, but yeah, let's see what they can do. Kura already tagged up. Now there's a player there and finishes him. Good stuff there. So, uh, finally, an opening frag for the Swedes. Whenever they got an opening, it worked out fa good for them. Get 3 player into B, but there are 2 players waiting for them. So, as soon as the smoke is gone, they're in trouble. They need to re smoke this ASAP or nade it or spam it or anything. Because if they just stand like this, they might die, but Sam with a kill gets taken down by Rixa though. Scope is still alive in the corner, I need to push him. There is the push coming out from Koro, but he gets scoped! <coughs> Finally, Martin takes the kill onto him and the crumbs to finish him off, so yeah. A good split push coming out, two players in A, three players to B, causing some confusion, some weird rotations, but Rixa didn't die fast enough in my opinion. He should have been taken out ages ago. He got two kills from that position, which he could have just easily naded or avoid or anything, but yeah. Got a good scope onto Kuru, so I think Juice with the spam onto Kauf can call for his team that are already on the A side, but that's all you can do. Because, yeah, everybody else on his team just gets naded and A is taken by the Swedes. Five players in A. Rixa gets one, but it's only be gonna be the one, and it's down to negative ones more than one before, and another convincing round coming out by the Swedes. So yeah, perfect stuff, finally pushed into A. And now if they continue playing like this, they are looking for an okay half is 6-6. Six, six. But of course the Netherlands will try to prevent this with nades and pushes themselves. So they have a player pushing in mid, let's see if we can catch him. It's negative with the AK on Garrett, that's a strong position. But he peeks out at the wrong moment, he kills a player in square, but getting spammed from flowers and mid -shop. so yeah, one for one trade. Not always favoring the defensive side, because it's one more spot for another player to watch. Mark on a match bin is in a fight with a mid shot player, let's see if we can take him out. There's a player in calf as well, so if the bins player is not looking the right way, this might be troublesome for Mark. Yep, there we go. Juice did not watch bins and Martin takes out Mark, but at least Juice got the revenge frag. But as Rick got the frag onto Kuro, it's down to Suki. 
2v1 knows where the scope is and probably knows about juice but if he's not fast enough he's gonna get killed by BLE and he's again on the magic what is he on top of the yeah juice playing this perfectly smart not showing himself will peek every now and then and there we go both players peaked at the same time so no chance for the crumbs at all he would have needed his teammate there to survive longer to have any impact but yeah four to seven this is a game breaking round right now i think if the netherlands can get this they're looking really strong to take this map but maybe sweden will come back once more and it looks like a nice calf push two players already out and two players on the look so if jutsu can't we get a kill here but he does on to sam the first there's two more players to find on statue gets the second as well and all frags falling just for the netherlands as a team ace to close out the half really nice defensive hold of this push so yeah i really like those fast pushes of the Swedes, but it can't always work out. This time Junzo was just too strong on statue, and the setup with the backup help from the AKS was brilliant as well. So yeah, looking at the scoreboard, each team has a player not tracking really high with Sam and Mark, both on 3 to 11, but for the Netherlands it's not too bad as they have pl three players in the double digits. Sweden does not have anybody there a part of Martin so yeah let's see if any players can pick it up on the opposing half spray some smokes coming in no serious damage done yet Junso is already in B market here's a player and takes him out in the end Rix over the double already killing Kezo and Kuro Mark onto Sam and it's again poor Martins only one with a frag this round just extending his carry so this is not looking good should we even AFK a bit, he doesn't care, he has the time no fast push coming out as well, Rix are just watching the cross let's see if Kezer can hold off any scope action by Rixer. he really needs to peek those duels against Rixer. and he just heard him shooting at B and he does not care to watch over there and so he just takes his teammates out one after another. If the scope doesn't peek me, I can just roam all over the map. Nobody has the range advantage just like I do. And the nade almost connected, just a bit too short. And Kezo needs to show some balls now and kill him in the back. And he does so. Lovely Diga. And gets another onto Juice. This was important to get back into this. And Junso now has to do it all on his own. 1v3. He knows where Kezo is. This should be an easy frag for him. SMG, close range. Walks forward. Picks up a gun. Kezo should turn around and he does. Lovely stuff by Kezo. Gets the 3k. And saves it for his team. And gets into double digits as well. So this is what they need. The individual players stepping up, getting some good frags. But Rixus probably looking to get some revenge onto this, but for now he's just gonna throw an aid. Waits for somebody to peek out B, so not a lot going on. Sam and Meetup's already in mid shops as a defensive player, but as we can see on the minimap there's nobody around. There's still two players in the spawn area. Curious setup, they're just waiting for peaks. They already lost. No, the Netherlands already lost a player. Sam with a peak. Kills Mark. So his position is known. He needs to be worried about two entrances. There's nobody's covering his middle so far. I think there's a player double bin helping him out. Let's see this. It was Kezo on double bin, but he fell back to help out the B player as there is Rixa once more in top flower. Let's see if he can win the scope duel with Kezo on B. Peeks out. Kezo is gone at the moment, and he doesn't need to go into action as well because Sam just killed Jinsu, taking it down to a 2v4. Rick is just hoping, please, anybody peek, I wanna get Franks, but Sukramza just peeks out at a perfect moment, kills him, and choose him in 1v4, will probably not have any impact, maybe get an exit frag or two, but this is gonna be it, 17 seconds, 4 players to find another bomb, and Kezo will get the easy frag. So, two good rounds. Netherlands really need to get Mark rolled into this game if they want to win it, because if it's continuing like this, 
not looking too good. 96 still, still 3 rounds in the lead. As Mark finally gets another kill onto Crow with an 8. Let's look play at B shops again. Let's see if he can have any impact. It's the crumbs at this round. If he's lucky, he's not gonna get flanked anytime soon, but it's a risky position. There could always be an SMG pushing out of flowers. Or the scope, as you can see it peeking him. And now he's stuck. His position is known and players just can easily move in. Gets attack. But again, not a frag. He can't just finish him. And he should have heard a B player around him, but... He does nothing about it and just gets sprayed down by negative. So down to is really 4 still doable. For the sweet, then oh, the rotate should have called in by the Netherlands. Hey, they've just rotated so fast on to be they probably don't have anybody in there anymore. Finally, Mark takes out Kezo was walking through the smoke and gets Sam as well. So it's once more down to Martin's. Uh, there he is, 4v1. Gets a couple of tags, two players attacked by him, but the damage will not have any impact. So it's 10 to 6, convincing round by the Dutchies. Probably caused as well by that early aggression by the crumbs and he died in the wrong moment because he was the only one defending the B side. So let's see on the minimap. They decide to go with two players into B shops again, but this time it could work out because Jeans was already in building and he died. So one frag for each. Vixa again got a kill, got tagged by Kezo, unlucky for him only with attack. Probably flaming right now, I can only see the head, why is this attack? But this is how the game works, Rixa is now going for the kill, let's see who wins this duel. Rixa going for the pixel peak. Both are just missing each other, and Rix's ball just wanted to back off, but Sam finally used this duel out to get closer and finishes him. So good team play coming out. Down to Juice and Negative, let's see if they can do anything. Negative just waiting for the B Link player to push into his aim, but it's not gonna happen. He should have heard him jumping on the bin, but he does not. He does not look into that direction, but unfortunately he does not get killed in the end. He does, so only losing one player. So I would say another convincing around by the Swedes. They need more from that. They want to draw this to a 10-10 to get some motivation back. Curious if the Netherlands would time out then. But it looks like finally an A push coming over the Netherlands. Juice is heading to Cuff right away. If there's a smoke down, there's a high chance he could do anything. But the smoke is kind of late, so he was spotted by Martins. Who takes him out. But Mark reacting, it's like an SMG coming in right away to help. So there are two more players to find on bins, they need to smoke or nade it right away. But they do not do such things, so Kesa has free aim and gets the kill onto Rexa. So the scope is going from the Dutchies, but the bomb is going down. So you see the situation, let's see how they play this. Juice backs off in the most defensive position, probably in cot. And taps, but he does not stay there, he goes onto the taps, onto the bins. And is now kind of stuck, leaving his teammate to do all the work, but fortunately for him, he does so. Right now the Cuff player should kill him, what is he doing? Suki coming in finally with a kill. Now they know the last player is stuck on tops, but he made his way out of the bins, but Sam with a lovely double kill saving the round. This could have been horribly wrong. I don't know why the Cuff player took so long to kill the guy in statue. But 10 to 8, closing the gap to two rounds. See what's going on. Yeah, it's coming up and not connecting on the other side of the map. Two frags already in favor right now. No, it's not a favor, it's still a 3v3, so seems like a B push, but defended by this. Uh, but it's sweet, and down to 2v2, just the, 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 how do you call it, the revenge fix working, this is what I'm looking for, but negative is on A, he should call, hey, just rotate all the way around, but Juice is kind of stuck with a bomb, he's scared to move out, and 
Kessel kind of knows where he is, so he's walking towards him with the deagle. Where's the help from his teammate? There's no help. Oh. Just spots a player walking into mid shops. And now gets the frag, this is crucial. Where was the helpful negative? He just still hold the A bins. He knows there's a player around him, but he's behind the, the barrier and doesn't spot him, so unlucky for him. And lovely position by Carol. So yeah, they played the smart. They should have played this way differently, the Dutchies, to get this round. But yeah, no backup coming. Negative just holding the A bins, which did not help his teammate uh, rotate at all. At least he should have watched the direction of B-Shop, so he could have put like this made. But as Rixer opens up the round with a frag, they are looking stronger. See what he can do. Gets the frag onto Kessel as well. Spots the player on statue but doesn't need to act as Junzo takes him out. And it's down to the crumbs and 1v4. Finally some aggression coming out by the Dutchies and it works perfectly for them. Probably will take this to the 11th round as Rixer got a third of the round. So 11-9. Two more to go for Team Netherlands. Team Sweden needs to come back into this. We see Rixer team carry again. 24 to 11. Let's see if he can show us why he's so high on the scoreboard. But of course, Caster Scourge is missing that easy shot. Or at least it should be easy for a scope on his level. Chance to get some sprays down, but not connecting. Sam holding strong, helping his teammate out. And A is on lock right now as Sam gets another. So Netherlands just need to hope that the Swedes will be stupid to peak any silly positions. But <laughs> there's a player perfectly protecting Overlook from the Abins area. So Juice is just going out of there as well. But Rix is still alive and got a kill onto Sam. So. Yeah, as he said, he's bored of waiting, but this is what you gotta do against a team which just lost two players. You gotta stay in, because they will not go for any silly aggression and want to get a frag or two before they move in. So Kramer with the perfect timing, kills Rix on the back. This is a good way to kill him, I suppose. And negative got one back, so A is kinda off, but it's both AK, so no smoke remaining. And down to a 1v3. Negative will creep around the corner, might get those two kills actually, gets the first. And there's a player right next to the right palm, but he's backing off smartly enough because the time is ticking down for negative. And now he just needs to hunt them, and he couldn't even have the time to walk back into Kav to get a bomb and take it to the bomb site. so no use. The Crumza will take the frag and will take it to 11-10. This is getting really close. Let's see if either team will close it up or if we're going to have an overtime. Let's see from the head perspective how nades and smokes are coming in. It looks like another calf push. Let's see if I can find a player pushing the calf. Oh wait, those, those are defensive players. But they don't seem to take it too fast. Oh no, wait, I'm wrong, of course, they're already in. It's Rixer and a 1v5. Yeah, this was a calf and front A push and Sweden just easily denied this with the team A's. It was even a frag for each player, so really beautiful team A's coming out there. And this kind of frustrates you. If you try something new, if you try to be aggressive and then get shut down like this, then you will be really slow. But it's again Riggs over the opening frag. He's just carrying with his team. I don't think the Dutchies won any round or Rixer didn't have a frag, so he's really the key player. And this means a lot of pressure on Kesso because he's the opponent's scope, he needs to take those tools to him. But as Mark gets a double, it's down to Sam and Sukramza, which died as just well. So it's down to Sam in a 1v5, gets one. But his position is now, he's heavily tagged up. Takes out the Deagle and gets the tag on the B-Shot player, but he's now backing off. There's a play on scope pass and gets killed on the back. So 12-11, overtime, or will this be the first map win for the Netherlands? Let's see this. I would say Kessel needs to take the fight against Rixa. But for now, he's not going B. So Kessel is not going B as well. So let's see this. Rixa goes for the calf peak. Confident enough and takes out Curran. He's heavily taken up and goes for another peek onto his Martin with a lovely shot onto him. Finally gets taken out by Sam. 
I was really on fire and wanted to get another kill, but yeah, now the Swedes need to stay in, but Junzi gets a kill on the Sucrums and it's now on to Kazan on 1v4. This looks like a good half for the Dutchies, unless Kazan can show some magic. He's worried that there's somebody around B that there's not, Explosions and as soon as he peeks planted. out, he should be killed by the a Bins player. But even he stays in, he wants his map. In the end, he gets it. And 13-11, Rick's on 28 frags. Wow. Such a team carry. Moving on to Backler. Maybe not as a scope map as it was on Strike, so maybe Team Sweden will look stronger on this because Rixa can't dominate it as much. Because right now we obviously know Rixa's on fire and just dominates the Swedes. If they would have an average player and not Rixa, then the Swedes would have taken this easily. But yeah, Kezo needs to, if, if both play the scope once more, they need to get those duels done. Kezo needs to protect his team from the city peaks, from those double and triple kills Rixa is doing. But yeah, what can you do? Having a short break, I'll have a drink as well. I left my steam on. Sorry for that. Oh, I just ended my game with that. I didn't save. Smart boy. Oh, whatever. All for you. But the Dutchies seem to take their time to ready up here, even though they pressured them earlier that negative had to go. Now they take their lovely time. But yeah, after a tense map like this, you can go for a piss, for a cigarette, for a drink. Nobody will blame you. So once more I ask for your predictions, who's gonna win this? Will the Netherlands take this to a 2-0 victory or will the Swedes come back and take it to a third map? Let me know what you think before the knife happens because if you know which side they're starting on it's a bit easier to predict. And I will of course tell you my predictions soon the knife is gone. Do not ruin your experience on predicting and discussing it with each other. Three more players ready up from the Dutchies. Negative really wants to get this going, I think. He was in a hurry before. I don't think this has changed. After he, jar how, after he saw how close this map was, he surely thinks this can go to overtimes and third maps and everything, so this could go on for hours. So yeah, he really wants this to be faster, so his teammates are readying up. And there we go. Into the third knife of tonight. Let's see if the Swedes can take it once more. 
Martin's with the best spawn, he will be the first into action if he doesn't camp. And yes, once more, the weeds are showing strong on the knife. It's down to Mark, 1v4, shows some jumping skills or not, and gets taken down by the 3kk Kezo. So no sweet can choose what they want and they're just staying on attack. I myself favor the defensive sides in Backlot because you can just camp and stop them with nades. But obviously if you have good execute smokes, nades onto A you can just charge in and take everybody out. So let's see, first question, will we have two scopes? There is one scope on Rixa obviously, let's go for him because he's going in the space but let's see if we can take something out there into Elvent. That will not happen, only Mark with the kill and Sam, let's see if... Kezo did not go for the scope. Do we have any other scope? It does not look like he. Frags are falling in favor heavily of Netherlands as it's already a 2 4. There's only one player defending A, so if the Grumser can take him out, he can plan safely. There's just some camping going on right now, Kezo tells his mate just wait, I'm gonna help you out, but the spray is just not connected, look at Mark at like 10 HP, and in the end Junsu takes out Kezo, so it's down to the crumbs, uh, who's getting pre-fired by Mark, and yeah, strong round coming out by the Dutchies. Let's see how they can react to this, the Swedes. Uh, then it's just too good. Nope, Martins is in already. With the SMG, is two players to find him back. A finds the first, sees the second, takes him out, and takes him out. Good double from him. Takes it right back as Sam got a kill as well. It's only two more players to find. Let's see if he's gonna get one of them. Because both are looking Explosive towards the middle, and Juice got to kill onto Sam. But Kuro takes out Rixa, and it's down to Juice. One we four, but he just took out two, so. Starting off strong, only two more to find. But gets taken out by Castle from Elven finally, so yeah, good stuff by Martins pushing into A. And the rest was just exit fragging, but almost upset by Juice. Juice with a good spawn will push into A. Let's see if the nades are good enough. They are not, so Juice can just use this aggression, goes onto the elevator position. Makes a whole annoyed, but there's nobody close just yet. So he can just keep peeking and take out any players who comes close, but misses his prey terribly. So he just has to back off, but his teammates are doing all the work. Only Kerr with a revenge frag. So Crumbs is stuck in Elven with a bomb. If he dies, this is going to be round over for them. Let's see if his teammates are looking to help him in any way, but it doesn't look like he. As they're both heading towards B, and now he's getting pushed from Elven. Just misses the player, but he's in behind him, so he's gonna die. The bomb's gonna go dropped at red car. Junsu getting two in the back easily. This is just terribly played. And Junsu is looking for a third kill of the round. And Kesso getting one. So three to find gets tacked up heavily, and finally Junsu gets his third. So yeah, if you have only three players remaining, you can't watch all the angles. So if you're going to go slow, then I don't know, you're obviously gonna get pushed at some point. So, not a good decision made. Let's see if Martin can get goes through. The nades are not so good for the Dutchies, even though Martin's get taken down to half HP. He's through, he's already in top A. It takes out Mark with a lovely pre fire onto the top A player as well. Negative down. Kuro killed Jinsu, so it's already two more play players to find. There's one in the middle, only gets attack onto him. So Rix and Juice answering with two kills, e, uh, one kill each. Answering the 5v2 to a 2v3. Let's see if they can do any more. So, tries to flank. There's a player right next to him. Let's see. Gets attacked up by him, and finally taken down. So Juice in 1v3. Those where two players are, but 
They're surely not gonna go for any city peaks. That's where all three players are right now, so takes up the first, but can't see Kessel on the left side of the screen. And yeah, rounds are going back and forth for both teams. This is looking exciting. Suki with his 004, looking for the bond. Let's see if we can do some reverse caster's curse and get him a frag by watching him. Going for the B Street spam. Well, there's already a player on Rattle, and it's going to be Sam to take him out. Suki, it looks like a B execute and a well planned one. Two players go on top with a bomb, one on the bottom. But there's a player waiting on B bomb, they need to push him and they do it with three players right now. But Suki should just help his team as you just spam the bomb with them. But he's just staying on the stairs, but luckily he gets the frag on the negative. And now Kuro killed Juice or the bomb finally. But there's one more player to find in laundry and now Suki came into action, kills him. And it's now on to Jinzi to clutch his first team in a 1v3. It's in a good spot, I don't think they know he's already that close. But with a spray coming in, they might do, yep, they knew. And he auto-climbs into the window and dies to Sukramza as well. So 3k for Sukramza. Good execute coming out to push out of the B side altogether with one player backing up the rotations. Really like to see this. Basic stuff, but if executed correctly, it's really effective. Now there's a low round coming out. This gives Junza the opportunity to kill an SMG walking out of Elvind. And he knows where second is, gets the kill on them as well. A fast round coming out, leaving only Kuro in a 1v5. So yeah, the B aggression from last round. They didn't want to repeat that, wanted to go back to a slow approach, wait for them to push us. But yeah, if you wait for them, you have to peak all the angles and it just didn't happen. Let's see, Junzo with another good spawn. Let's see if he can do something once more. Nades are just too far, you can just touch them easily. Well, there's already a player next to him. It's Martin's taking him out. And now Junzo goes for the hunt, he hears so many people around him and gets taken tagged up, but not taken out yet, so there's still two more players to find around him. Negative helping him out there, and Riggs are doing all the work as well, so Jinzu can breathe a bit, as Kizu just took out Negative though. We have one more player to find, and it's Martin, still alive of course, Jinzu should have known this. He killed a player in the beginning, and he was not dead yet. So it's down to the Rixer, 1v2. If you want a player in a clutch for the Netherlands, it's gonna be Rixer. See if he peaks the right angle. And he does. Martins, I don't know what he, where he was going. Probably had a bad call from his teammates or heard something wrong. And now Rixer in a 1v1 against Kezo. The two scopes. And Kezo actually has a scope in hand. So let's see. He hopes he would rather that misses his nade terribly. And Rixer just crawling to victory. Kezo got his deagle out. He could have just killed him with the scope. Misses the shot. Rixer just smokes himself out. Rixer, of course, got the time advantage. Now where's the bomb? Okay, so with a tag through the smoke, and now he has to go for the plant. And Rixer knows this. He should just go around and spray him to death. But he does not. Explosive He's just hoping planted. he doesn't plant and just hides. So, yeah. All played by Kazo with a plant. Now he saw him. Should switch to the scope right now. Going for the AK, weird decision enough, takes him up to like 5 HP, and there's the kill. So the clutch did not happen for Rixer, but it was really close, plant coming down on 5 seconds, Rixer with the wrong decision to hide instead of going for the prediction to spam the bomb, and Kezo being the hero saving the round for the Swedes there. Let's have a look under the BAK. Important roll to hold, but not a lot of action coming in, as you can see in the scoreboard as well. Negative only on 3 to 6. And the action is once more coming down on the A side. Let's see if we can see something there. Sam with his second frag after the round. There's nobody else in A. So they will need to bring the bomb into there as well. Sam getting spam from Red Container survives it though, so now you can just regenerate and help his teammate to plant. 
But Martins doesn't need help, takes out Vixor all on his own. He's Juice on 1v5 and Sam with a lovely Deagle getting a third kill of the round. And it's a 5v3 advantage for the Swedes are looking strong on attack and uh, can feel they want to take this to the third map, which will be City Streets. Finally an 8 kill coming out from the Netherlands, I think it's the first one, and uh, Flash working as well, Martin's really blind. There's two players to find an A, let's see how he does it. Actually has three players to find, there's just one back in spawn as well. Martin's playing the smart, just waiting. Let the Dutchies think they're safe. And then push back A. But again, there's a player on spawn waiting for him, but he takes him out. Martin with a double. And the player top A just not reacting. He didn't want to peek. So who's that? I know he's in basement. Jinzu, he could have just killed him in the back, but he didn't do it. Is it a smart play? Because they think A is clear now? Will it not work out in the end? No, it will work out in the end as Martin's boss already tacked up coming down the stairs and with the 180 spray he took him out and <laughs> Kazo falling through the stairs as well to Jinzi. So in the end his decision was right as negative gets the crumbs as well. Oh thought, please kill Martins, help your teammates, he's just slaughtering them, but no. They didn't predict him being in the basement and he made those kills to save the round. See what Sam is doing. He's already in top A with the SMG, so strong push coming out by him. Let's see if he can kill those two players underneath him. He's looking the wrong way, but in the right way in the right moment. So there's one more player to find, but for now he's deciding not to go for him. He's that in a. It's Rixer. Gets the first. Knows there's another player, or should know it at least. On the stairs. Can call in for his team. The bomb is down on A. Sees another player on the bomb, but misses the spray. Starts to. Aim onto him, but switches to the no scope, and now it's Juice in a one v three once Explosive more, planted. and the bombs down. So this is not looking likely for him. He has forty five seconds to kill three players or defuse the bomb, and gets the first. Though. Okay, so with a silly peek, there was no reason at all to peek that. So giving him the chance to do it, and Juice just spotted the B player on B street, and I don't think he. Oh, he did. He just crawled back. All right. He's safe. He had the call. Don't push any further. And Juice now has to run. And Sam takes advantage of this and takes him out. And they extend the lead once more to a 6 4. Junsu Riggs, a top scorer for the Dutchies. And Kazo, Martins, and Sam on almost equal score. Only Sukrumza. Not showing up too big, so let's go for him once more. And he gets naded. <laughs> and lucky for him, looks like another strong round by the Dutchies, as both AKs of the Swedes are stuck in Elbent. And as they just shot both, they know where they are, and they will just close in. Frag hunting commences. And this will be pretty easy for them to close out this round. Not even an exit frag. Team A is coming out. Richter with a pump gun, probably had a good spawn, or let's see if he will stick to this. Nope, he just had a good spawn, so made use of that speed advantage you have by picking the demolition class. Negative with a good spawn, goes to top A as well, and it can be in strong position as he takes out Martin with a lovely headshot. So, only four more players to find. Again, the opening working for the Dutchies and the slow approach not working for the Swedes, as Sam was the only one going fast and dying to Rixa, who gets the second of the round on the top ruins. Only the Crumbs and Kuro remaining. And the Crumbs are tacked up heavily, surrounded by three players, or four even. So. It depend on his mates, but Rixer just got a third and negative kills Kora. So 6-6 six, six, half, pretty even. Good comeback by the Dutchies, so we're a few rounds behind. So this is still for grabs for both teams.
So second half starting. Let's see once more how the nades are working for the Swedes. Let's see if their nades are better than the Dutchies. The smoke is coming out, but no nade. Negative's just through. It's easy into A already. There's nobody from the Swedes to defend A. They. they have four players towards middle and B. Is that a retake strat? Are they feeling that comfortable to retake it? So here's the player on his right, should be easy to kill him, gets the tag and the frag. Three v three, slow approach by the Dutchies. They just picked up the bomb now and spawn. So Crumbs killed Rixer, important frag. Now Juice has to find a frag, but there's a player in mid house. And he just spotted him in the nick of time. Marks up as the crumbs are just reacting as fast as the turret to this, takes him out, looks for his third kill of the round. But negative just fucks off out of A, sees a play on tank. But yeah, now he's in his aim for the crumbs once more, so he needs to kill the play on tank before, but Sam finishes him off, so good defense of all by the Swedes. Let's watch the nades of Sam nading the grey car, I suppose. He does so. Some heavy nades coming out, and the Dutchies do not try to face them. We have only Chunzu and Tobei. But he will not have any challenge anytime soon. Flashes a guy back A. Peaks him as well, but there are two players back A. If he goes for a silly peak in the wrong moment, he will surely die to that. Probably calling in for his team and saying I can't find anybody in A, but in the end he does find a player in back A. And now, is he getting pushed from behind now? Again, there's a player in basement, I think. Let's see if we can find out who it is. It is Sam. Let's see if we can sm play this as smart as Jinzu did before. As Jinzu just died by the crumbs as AK. And Sam just walking out the wrong moment, getting deagled by Juice. This should have been an easy kill for him, but now the bomb can go down. Let's see if Juice actually goes for it. He does. The spray not coming out by the crumbs. He just wants to walk close, gives away his position. Negative, just waiting, wasting time. This is how you should be, should play this. Not go for any silly peaks, but in the end, if you have the confidence, go for it. So, Suki and Juice, 1v1, 22 seconds to go. Suki getting the tag, but not the frags. Juice finishes him off with only one bullet left to clutch it for his team, but he's taking it to a 7 7. So, even closer match as we expected, as we could have hoped for. Each team gets around, let's see if they can take this onto overtime or if team will find a way to get some more of that advantage. Shrigs are dying pretty early on. He had a scope and pushed into top A. But Kuro was ready for this as negative on Mark. Just killed two players, it's advantage for Netherlands I was about to say, but again Sam with the fact onto Juice, evening it out, so crumbs are taking the lead for the Dutchies and current spawn with the ball spray onto Jinsu taking it to a 1v3 for Mark. And his position is known. He will surely push into the arms of Kuro, but nope, Sam kills him on the back. And it's the advantage for the Swedes once more. Can they extend it this time or will it be an 8-8? Eight, eight? Even Steven once more. Let's see. Same with the good spawn. I think he will go for some aggression as he's pushing through the red hole. No spam coming out from the old band. And he's already a red container. He is a player mid house. Has two players to find around. Hey, one died to Martins just now. Two players in mid out as well. Sees play on a bomb. And has to rotate now, of course, to not get spammed from any position. Does so by rotating the red zone. Lovely shot onto Juice, but gets taken now by Riggs, who switched to the scope once more. In a 2v3, he has to do some work now, but has only his deagle in hand. Now switches to the scope and reloads it.
finds a play on bottom runes, gets the deagle tag, but of course the player will not do anything to move out of there. Baits out a shot once more, runs away from the nade, but runs into the nade. This must be desperate for the crumbs, but finally Kuro with a good spot gets one and attack on the second, and in the end he finishes them off. So Kuro saves the round for his team, so crumbs are. <laughs> Just makes horrible decisions this game. He's on 12th and 13, so he's still freaking okay, but he could have had a way more impact. But sometimes you're just unlucky. See, Mark it. Takes up heavily by an 8, but still through. He's on single breaks, pushing to middle. There's a player waiting, spamming the smoke. And the Crumbs saves it by killing him in the end. But Junzo pushing as well, killing Suki in the end. But if Junsu walks through that hole, he's surely dead by the back eye player. Let's see who... No scope duel coming out by Rixa and Kezo, and Kezo wanted to walk out of this and died. No, it wasn't Kezo actually, was it? Um, not sure. I think it was, yeah. So, 2v3 advantage, plant coming in, Explosions Martins and Kura have to clutch this for their team. Kuro is already close, so he's gonna be in the first to show himself. Nope, gonna be Martin's taken down, and now the roof player has an easy target and back B. A few wall banks coming out as well. And Kuro knows there's a player on his left, probably, but what can he do if he doesn't peek himself? Goes for some wall banks, but there's just nothing he can do about it. And dies in the end. And is the advantage still for the Swedes for one round? But the Dutchies look really strong right now, so they're looking to even this out once more. Nades are coming in, but no nades into Garden means that Jews will survive this for now. So he's a player on Red Container, I can call it in for his team. But they kill him now as Mark just pushed into middle, gets two. Let's see if he can do any more. Gets the third as well. There's a player back A, but he does not anticipate that and dies, but he made enough work already with those three kills. It's only Kuro in a 1v3, and if soon he shows himself, he's gonna die from Red Container. And they even it out to 9-9. 9-9-9. Yeah, German pun jokes coming out. So, let's see how the Nets are flying this round. I suppose FGs are looking to push what it's a... Uh, SMG and a shotgun, and the shotgun in the name of Rixa was taken out quite heavily with an ace. Suki with a kill in the negative as well. And now, finally, some good frag coming in for the Swedes. Only Juice remaining, getting two exit frags, but it's, it's all she's gonna roll for today. 9 to 10. So, good nades coming out. Taking out one of the aggressors, and then a good. Anticipation of the back A player to watch for a push of single bricks. So Crumbs gets a kind of negative again, opening frag for the Swedes, but Kazo with a deagle push onto single double bricks. This was a silly decision, in my opinion, but Martin saves the situation by killing Junsi. <laughs> just as I said, yeah, he pushed with a scope into double bricks with an SMG. He could have just killed two players there, but his teammates are doing all the work, so he doesn't need to care what he's doing. And now Rick says to do a lot of work if they want to come back to this. It's a 2v5. Mark's in middle, but he got the first, so let's see if Mark can do any magic, but his position is known right now. Maybe Rick can help him out from top runes, peeking towards A, but the Swedes played is smart, they're not peeking, they're not pushing, even though the back A player just started running around like an asshole, just to decline what I just said. And now it's Rick's in 1v5, takes up the crumbs through the wall heavily, but in the end finally some luck coming towards the crumbs. And kills Rixa with a lovely two shot into the body. 
two more rounds for the Swedes attack to third map. Let's see if this is going to be one of them as Jun's was already in A. He got tagged up by the knight, so at least it stops him for a bit. Wakes over the knight track onto Kazo though. But again, Suki is just on fire getting another kill and just going back and forth down to the 3v3. Bomb coming in towards A. Wakes attack on Martin. It's probably a round deciding frag as A is wide open right now. Negative just waiting, but Suki with another kill onto Rixa. He's just being huge right now. He's 22 to 16, he's really stepping up his game. And this is what the Swedes need. Let their star player step up. So, coming in, Sam can call it in, it was a fake. Scrub is already in the roof, but he's getting taken down by negative. It's horribly. And Sam getting flanked as well. Unfortunate for the Swedes. Sorry if I'm a bit objective, subjective right now, but of course I want this to go to the third map, so the Swedes need to win this map, but not like this. Not if only Suki is the only one showing up for them. They need the other players to get some frags as well. And Junzu and Juice both get a opening frag, so this is looking like an 11-11. As Junzu got another onto Sam as well. Oh, it was negative killing him, but truly was Junzu taking down the most damage. And it's Kazo <laughs> in a 1v5. Let's see how many exits he can get. There's the first, and there's none further. And it's even Stevens on 11-11. So let's see who's going to be the first saving it at least to overtime. Can surely be or play less confident, not less more confident. If you already got this 12th round, you don't need to be worried to lose the map. But that you still have the overtime to come back from. But again, Netherlands with two with three frags, so they seem to be the ones on a driving seat taking it to 12 rounds. And it's only Suki and Kuro remaining. And Sukramas wants to help his teammate, he does so, but getting taken out of the progress. Only Kuro remaining, 1v3. His position is known as well. And the bomb, I'm not sure where it is, but Kuro. Bomb is going down by B and there's a player waiting on B streets for him already as soon as he peeks around the corner he's dead. So yeah, 12-11, Rixa with a quad kill this round. So again, he's the man taking the wheel for the Netherlands when it's important. And I hope the Crumza will do the same right now for the Swedes once more. Sam with the opening onto Mark, so Crumza with another nade kill as well. Now they just need to stay in. Have a hold, strong hold. Scrumzo misses the spray onto the BLU player. That should have been an easy kill for him. But for now, he's just laying down, chilling. And just hopes he's not getting spammed from the madhouse. But yeah, all of the remaining players are towards A and L bend. So there's nothing to be worried about just now. Let's see, they are they're staying in. The Swedes really want to take this to overtime. They need this round. They don't want to leave the cup just yet. And Kaz with a kill on the juice just confirms this. Negative goes down to Suki, who of course had more confidence to peak. And with a 12 12 with Riggs on 26 to 16 and Sukram's on 25 to 19. Uh, yeah. Close match. And we're going to MR3 overtime. Sides will be switched once more. No knife. And then it's up to the first team to take four rounds. They will take the map. So this is really tense stuff going on right here. So some players need some more time to ready up, of course. There's just too much pressure. have a drink as well in the meantime and hope they give me the minute I need to take my breath. Nope, they don't. Thank you. I will drink anyways and just show you the nades for now.
Alright. Two players already in A from the attacking side. Let's see who it is. Martin on the side A, both SMGs, but Mark with a lovely peek onto him. Sam was just over peeking with a short range weapon. Jinsu being a naughty boy, glitching, watching through the glitch. And taking it to his advantage as well. Uh, at least two frags working out for the Swedes, but it's going to be only once Kezo on a 1v3 has to find them, but gets found out first from the side. And uh, the first round in favor of the Dutchies, and who would have saw it? Rix only with a one kill. Mark showing up for his team in overtime, no pressure for him. Martin's getting taken down by Jin. It's uh, other way around. Martin takes out Jin too, so opening frag for the Swedes. Sam follows it up, and Kuro as well. So only two more players remaining. Make this one. It's only Rixa. One v4 finds the first. It's the player in middle and two and A to find, but he's worried about B as well, so not sure where he got this information from. There's a player right next to him, but the auto climb will kill him. We all know auto climb kills more people than AIDS. So, yeah, that's another victim for today. Let's see if the knights are still solid in overtime or if they're struggling to throw them because of the pressure. Great carnate not even exploding, that's what I mean. Surely want to look for it to explode, but at least the late explosion tags up Sam. And this time they don't have anybody in A, but they have the opening frag and killed Rix as well in the progress, so this is looking like a doable round for them. The two players in A and one in middle, so if Sam does not play this smart, he's getting taken out any second. But there is a player Mark just watching towards middle and getting taken out by side A. This is not good communications going on by them. Sam getting the deagle shot onto the Back Mitchell player as well. There was a one more player to find in and Martin's just found him. So it's down to negative and juice to clutch this for his team. But negative already down. Only juice. And he's in middle. He's surrounded by five players and there's no way a teammate is coming out by the Swedes taking it to a two one advantage. And this is on attack. So Earlier that is 6-6 on attack, and it ended up in a 12-12. Let's see if they can take this two-round advantage and take the map, take us to a third map, which of course will be City Streets, as the Netherlands already won strike. Fairly close, 13-11 if I remember correctly. But Mark with that aggression right away, getting answered by Martin, so good hold by them. But Jinsu gets not killed onto middle, only Rixa with an 8 kill, and Martin's dying to Jinsu with his nade into bottom mid house. Meaning there's only 3 more players to find, but Rixa gets the kill onto Koro. Once more, Rixa showing up for his team, he needs to find a few more. But he's worried, he, he knows there's a player backstabbing him. I don't know why, but he just kills Sam. It's down to Martin's. Probably some communications coming out from his team. I'll just spam the bind, I'm sorry. Martins needs to find three. Explosives planted. But there's no way back for him. They all know where he is, they're just spamming walls and he's got a short range weapon and he and Juice is happy that he's going to be the one to get his exit frag and they take it to a 2-2. So if Sweden wants to take this to a third map, if they really want to stay in this cup, they need to step up right here. And I suppose the Krumza is the man to do it. He wants to go into this 10 position once more to take advantage of his amazing AK and let's see if he can do this. But now he can't see anybody and he's been known to be on that position. Let's see if any reaction is coming towards him. There's three players around mid house and one's already in garage. He should hear the players underneath him. And now he's scared. He's scared. He does know there's a player underneath him and <laughs> what can he do? He's just watching the stairs right now. 
could have spotted a player and laundry, and he did. Sprays some bullets onto him, kills him. Gets not revenge fact, so that's a good move from him. Gets another kill onto Rixer. Ah, there's a player raiding on a red hole. Killing him down to a 3v3. Martin with another frag, getting answered by Jinzu. Down to a 2v2. Juice and Jinzi. Can they take the advantage for the Dutchies? He's close to the B bomb. And Junsu just a nick of time sees Sam at the right moment. It's only down to Kuro, and his position might be known. But he has no idea where the bomb is. But Junsu just called in, hey, I just killed the A player, there's probably nobody in there. So get the bomb here, go for the plant. 20 seconds to go. If Kuro can stop the plant, he does not. So once more, it's Sweden. With their back to the wall, they need to win this round to take it to another overtime. If not, they're out of the cup. So, let's see who can step it up for them. Is Kara Kazo? That's the crumbs already dead, so he's not gonna be the one. And as Kuro kinda stupidly walks with an AK into the A bomb, gets killed by an SMG, at least Sam's answering to this. Junsu can stacked up heavily, this would have been an important kill, but Martin's at the perfect moment, comes with the midhouse, kills too. Huge play by him. But negative kills him off, Sam's position is known, he needs to get this right, he can't get spammed right now, he gets the tag onto negative. But Rixer is just spraying the shit out of top A and hopes he can catch Sam there, but in the meantime they're just spraying back onto him, so yeah. Sam is in trouble, and Kesu is like, oh, can you survive? <laughs> please, please just survive, and he does not, goes down. And now Kesu kinda has to move, but he waits for Rexa, he hopes, please peek out like a city bean. He does look, but doesn't let the frag onto him. And Rexa now, he can call in where he is. They smoke up B curiously, and so they're not going to A, and the GT is already coming out by Sam. As Kezo just died, 2-0 in favor of Netherlands, but it was two close maps with an overtime. So I would still say this was a GG. Unlucky for Team Sweden, they're out of the tournament. This was their last match. So yeah.